PBT texts come in all shapes and sizes, and today we're going to run through them all from the most known to the obscure strange ones you might have never heard of. But before we start, for anyone who doesn't know, a tech is a feature or mechanic which helps you out in the game, or what I like to call the holy grails of Dead by Daylight. Trust me, even though you might think you know them all, you're going to want to stick around to the end because I promise you're going to learn at least one by the end of this video. So let's start at the top. The 360, the OG of DBD texts. This refers to when you're about to get hit hit by the killer. You turn one way, then turn back, catching the killer off guard, allowing him to spin around them, avoiding getting hit. The point tech is when you need to get down in a particular spot. Pointing stops you getting backflipped or launching forward. The gesture cancel tech is a mean tech which allows you to stop pointing or waving to be funny or to just piss off the killer if you're dumping on them in game. Dumb tech indicates when you stun the killer and bolt into them to either sit in their feet and hope they take a minute to get their bearings before slapping you, or just run around the loop again making the killer contemplate the life choice is when they end up slashing the pallet out of pure panic, not knowing where you are, therefore testing the killer's big brain to see if they can out dumb tech the dumb tech. The whole tech, the JRM special, is by any means forcefully putting the killer in the hole, either by losing you on accident or just being juked in there. The whole tech is the easiest way to annoy the killer and also, by experience, the most satisfying. <laughs> the exit gate tech involves getting an exit gate bar to just before the A in escape to stop the first red light coming on. So when the killer comes to check it, they'll assume no no one is nearby and bog off allowing you to open the gate and escape before they come back. The harvester tech. This can be for killers and survivors. Killers it's a bit more known. On any cold wind map, you as the killer can jump onto the hay bale on any harvester loop by m one which counters the survivors vaulting onto it via the inside window, allowing you to get an easy hit. Moonwalk is a basic movement technique which allows you to be run backwards by constantly switching between A and D on your keyboard and is mainly a flashy skill used to flex on any locker dwights in the lobby. Corner tech is an easy juking strat where you go into a building and slip into the closest corner, making the killer start chasing nothing as you slip under their nose and sneak out behind them. Quick switch tech. The thing toxic survivors do when the match is about to start. They change from looking like a new bot player who's low level with no item to a P100 god with a buff beamer and a sweaty skin. The unhook tech it refers to blocking the killer from hitting you when unhooking another survivor, which can stop sandbag trades and give you a faster chase time after because you're not already injured. The left right tech is a simple tech where after you drop a pallet, you fake going one way, letting the killer follow you, and then go the other way once the killer is out of sight to get some extra distance. The respect tech demonstrates running around a pallet instead of dropping it, which avoids constant pre throwing and wasting pallets. It has to be said, this works much better against newer players as they're always scared of pallets, but you never know, it might work on the P100 nurse. The red stain fake is a skill where you, the killer, hide your stain by either walking backwards or staring away from the survivor to make them question which way you're going which can help you surprise them and get a free hit, or just to fumble up their movement and give them a bit less distance. The locker tech is a last resort where there's no pallets or windows anywhere, so the only hope is to jump into a locker to avoid getting hit and hop out when the killer's whiff. The harvester fake is on cold wind when you fake vaulting the window onto the hay bale, so the killer swings onto it but you double back, vault the other window, bamboozle in the killer which can allow you to get to the next pallet. Now moving on to tier 2. Most people know these techs but they're not as obvious to new players. The CJ Tech, a classic which was created in 2017 by a guy called CJXCCVI. I probably butchered that, but we'll move. And involves you getting a flashlight save by forcing the killer to pick up a survivor which is next to a down pallet. This is because you vault said pallet when they're trying to break it, and when you slide back over, it's perfect timing to get the flashlight save. Kinda hard to explain, so just watch the clip over the top and you'll get it. Tree Tech, one of many environment techs, is when you're being chased and you need to juke a killer on a standalone tree by either faking going around one way, then leaving to go to another loop, or if they're really new, just hide behind it until they Bye, fully lose you. Time. The run for CJ Tech, an adaptation of the regular CJ Tech where you half blind the killer before bolting to disorient them. Pallet FOV Tech is useful when a killer is breaking a pallet by getting close to them exactly as they break the pallet to make them think you passed them and went behind them so they swing and hit absolutely nothing. The regular FOV Tech, this can also be called the dead hard fake, is where you get so close to the killer, the field of view gets jumbled and they get confused where you are, so they swing out of pure confusion and miss entirely. Field techs are a viable tech to use at the exit gate where a survivor is down and too far from the exit to escape, so you start to heal them so the killer can't pick them up, overall giving the down person more time to get out because the killer has to hit you to be able to pick them up. Bush techs, similar to tree techs but involve you darting into a bush when looping to lose the killer entirely. These are a blendette's best friend. The window fake, basically it makes the killer whiff because you make them think you're vaulting by going towards 
towards a window, but at the final moment, you choose not to vault and continue instead, making them swing for the window and hit an absolute air. The animation fake is another meme tech which mainly works against really new players. When running through a pallet, you can emote, making it look like you dropped the pallet, so they respect it, not wanting to get stunned. But unfortunately, this only works if someone like your nan is playing, so it's not really viable in game. The hook block tech. This represents crouching under a hook to stop the killer hooking your mate. This is mainly to avoid poor Dwight main getting tunneled. The flashlight point 360 is a form of the regular 360, but it flusters the killer because you flash one way, then spin the other. They don't know where you're gone, allowing you to speed off, leaving them in the dust. Unfortunately though, this has been kind of patched due to flashlights being as slow as a tier 1 Myers. So, it's not really useful anymore, but it's good history. The unbreakable stun tech, a situational tech nonetheless, but it's used when you're downed under a pallet, and as the killer goes to pick you up, yeah, it's a long day for the killer if that happens. The truck tech. On any auto haven map, a truck can be found. You can use the window in it to fake vault and then actually vault when the killer lunges at the window, catching them off guard and trapping their poor asses in the back of the truck. The Sodoinky tech. Another version of the 360, but this one's around a wall, basically confusing them as they're less likely to expect it. The inside tech. Because you get no collision for a few seconds after being hit, you can hide in the killer's legs by boozling them because they can no longer see you and allowing you to get away. It can also be called the penis tech. I have no idea why. The stair fake tech is a tech on the area of crows where you can fake going down the stairs in the main building and make the killer go flying because they tried to cut you off by falling down the stairs, but it only results in you laughing at them and running up again. The Aaron moonwalk, the successor to the basic moonwalk created by Aaron over four years ago, is where you do a regular moonwalk but swing your camera with your character. It can also be used better in chase by combining it with a 360 to absolutely dump on the killer. But getting into the the deep depths of the DVD techs now. Let's get tier 3 underway. The velocity fake. A simple tech when you're about to get in range of the killer so they swing but you turn away at the last second so they just fall short. The demo tech. When you're on the top floor of a building as the demogorgon you can tread off it and Whee! launch yourself into the air. The dash fake. A tech when you're playing as pig you can use the dash attack round a loop to fake one way then go the other catching the survivor off guard and getting a free hit. A fake window fake. The same as a regular window fake but you do it on some that isn't actually a usable window. So like the fake window on the shack, or just some random bit next to a building. This only works on dumb or flustered killers though, but when it does, man, it's funny. Trapper buffer tech refers to a situational tech where the killer is playing trapper and your path is blocked by a trap. Another survivor can start disarming the trap, allowing you to run through it without being caught, trapping the trapper behind their own trap. Someone's got to tell me how many times I said trap right there. That's mental. The slide ball, a flashy tech, which isn't actually very useful in game, but it looks cool. When you start to fast vault, you can release all your movement keys, except sprint, and it'll make you look like you're sliding. Back with the harvest attack. This time is for survivor. This one's a bit more rare, seeming it's so much harder, but it involves you running towards the hay bale on the harvester at such an angle that you land on it and don't face plant. This is quite hard to do though, so I wouldn't actually recommend it in game. You'd probably better vault in the window. The trap tech. When you're playing as a trapper, you can start to place a trap just before getting stunned to stop the stun animation. Sadly though, I believe this has been patched. As I was trying, it, it didn't seem to work. The bunny tech, no doubt the best tech on this list. It's where you're about to get hit, so your DC making the killer hit absolutely nothing. Really effective, would recommend. The Narnia tech, very similar to the bunny tech, but you make sure the killer sees you hop into a locker. Then before they open it, you DC, so that when the killer does open it, they open an empty locker and they look like a buffoon. The fire barrel tech, when the killer's near you, you can hide behind the little fire barrels on Red Forest and Auto Haven to evade them. This kind of only works against blind killers though, so don't expect it to work all the time. The locker CJ tech. This demonstrates you being in a locker and the down survivor being in front of the locker. Then when the killer goes to open it, you jump out forcing them to pick up the down survivor just in time to get the beamer saved. The reverse CJ tech. Quite similar to the regular CJ, but as the killer tries to break the pallet, you vault from the same side as the killer, making them pick up and bang. Flashback save. The window tech. Demonstrates running through a killer as they vault a window, so they turn one way, but you phase through them and are now going the other way. This tech is quite hard to pull off though, so you have been warned. The key or clairvoyance tech. Basically the same as a window tech, but using a key or the perk clairvoyance. When you activate these, they give you no collision, making phasing through the killer much easier. The Aaron tech. Another tech created by Aaron. This is where you stun a killer, then blind them. Then at that moment, you slow vault the pallet and fast vault it back to stop the killer from breaking it, giving you more time. This one is risky though. They could just pick you off the pallet if they click M1. The reverse pallet stun. Let's just say you don't really expect to do 
this when it happens. It, it just happens. But it's where the killer swings into a pallet and tries to hit you, but you stun them at just the right time to plonk them on the other side. And last, the item tech is just the most humble, goodwill, generous tech. Wait, that, that isn't right. Yoink. <laughs> And we're here. The last level. Only few players know about these techs, so please comment down below if you know any of them. The Keck Tech is a form of window tech, but vaulting through the killer as they vault a window. This can completely fluster them, so give it a go. Although, it does have to be kind of pixel perfect. It did take me quite a few tries to get this one. The Any Means Necessary CJ Tech. Using the perk Any Means Necessary, you can start the animation to pick up the pallet, which stops the killer from being able to break it and therefore picking up the survivor and flash right save again. The shift tech. From the depths of competitive DBD, this tech is where by not using the shift key, therefore not sprinting, a chase is never started with the killer. And when you're not in chase, windows never block and you can loop them forever, therefore increasing chase time indefinitely. The breakable wall vacuum is a trick that only works against killers who can break walls in their power, such as Bubba or Blight. It works by crouching so close to the wall that it makes their power lock onto the door and break it instead of hitting you, giving you a free escape. The generator CJ tech. Right, we've done enough of these. Same thing, but with a generator. Car tech. Some cars on Auto Haven maps have such weird hitboxes. This allows skilled Wesker, Billy, and Blight players to slide off them to hit shots that were once thought impossible. The window CJ tech. Nah, we're done. Not another one! The fake vault tech. A specific tech against Wesker that when you fake a vault, he'll try and follow using his power and then accidentally vault the window, allowing you to BM him as much as you want. The stair crouch tech. Another one weakness to Billy and Wesker. They can't catch a break. If you crouch on the stair lower than the top level, when a Billy, Wesker, Blight or Demo try to use their powers, they'll miss you for some reason. Probably collision based. Don't ask me. I don't know. And last of all, the rarest tech in DBD. The one you're least likely to know about. The Shack Door Crouch Tech. Yeah, breathe that in. The Shack Door Crouch Tech. This depicts crouching in the Shack Doorway when a Billy or Blight is charging you. And for some reason, like the Stair Crouch Tech, they just can't hit you. As if you have no Collision. Please go down in the comments and tell me any of that I've missed. And with that, I'll see you in the next one, gamers.